All right, I'm skipping the introduction today, but still follow me on my social medias like Twitter, Instagram, Beachview, Brightam, Odyssey, X, Mines, just in case the channel is shut down. God forbid, Terminator, spoiler, worse, DDoS Reactor, Shadow Man by the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, my friends, I know this is an old one, Mr. Beast, whatever, with this old beef with Gloria Rosano Pasmino, whatever her name is, Rosano Pasio. I'm not gonna lie, the chick looks really, really pretty as hell. Man. I even heard she had an Instagram and a Fansly account, ironically enough. I didn't look at it for research purposes, though. I mean, I didn't fat box any of that shit either. But anyways, this is from um, Business Insider. I rarely read from them. Why people turn on Rosania past me during the Mr. Beast drama. It has something to do with the Keemstar dude, Daniel Keem. You know, I don't really give a rat's ass about the dude. But he's always been really, really annoying as hell to me, man. It's just, I don't know. There's something about his aura I didn't really give a rat's ass about. But let's jump into it. And I'm going to talk about some XQC drama literally that just happened yesterday about him. Like, he was reacting to the whole thing that was happening in Gaza and Israel and all that. Really, really sad stuff. So, let's jump into it. I don't know who this is from. just says Business Insider. The internet turned on a YouTuber accused of Mr. Beast uh, unfairly editing your videos. I'm playing Crash Bandicoot music in the background, by the way. I forgot to say that. Yeah, Mr. Beast unfairly editing your videos. In one or out in one of the videos, accusing her of doubling down for the attention. Mr. Beast, aka Mr. Jimmy Donaldson, has held several massive challenges as part of his Creator Games event. I guess it happened like three or four years ago, it was in 2018 or 19. It's a little while back. Let's continue on. Once was a stadium wide game of hide and seek featuring tens of other biggest YouTube's biggest country creators. There's a, so there were, I remember there were a few they showed from TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, too. So not 100% of them were just from YouTube. Only six of them were. Just a little um, fun fact and trivia there. Let's move on. It says, extreme $1 million hiding seat thing. Like I said before, I'll say it again. I'm not going to say I agree with them and disagree with whatever Jimmy Donald said okay, Mr. Beast does. I think he's a really, really funny-ass dude. Very, very super calm. I never met the dude IRL, but... I don't know. He always gave me real positive, good vibes. Man. If I had children or nieces or nephews of my own, I let him watch. I let him watch Mr. Beast. There's Rosanna Rosanna Pasmino, a YouTuber with almost 15 million subscribers. Dang, was among one of them. She's best known for her lifestyle content creator, covering yeah, baking and trying cos. No wonder I never heard of this chick. She's more in that like makeup guru and I guess fashion style like side of the YouTube community. I don't really give rats ass about them that so. I would have been a female, I probably would have liked her, but I really don't fucking care. But let's move on. October 27, Pasino Pasnino posted a statement on X, aka Twitter, where she said had performed a much better than it seemed into the video. She said, <laughs> that's a shame, because it's really, really fun looking stuff. I mean, I don't know. When I saw the video, I don't think she was lying about it. Maybe she was telling the truth, maybe she was telling a lie. I don't know if she was trying to permanently cancel. Yeah, Mr. Beast cancels, no way that's happening. That dude's like, with 25 billion subscribers and million subscribers, or way more than that. He's got more subscribers than PewDiePie, so that tells you the famous success that dude has. At least he gives it to charity. Hopefully he does. Let's move on. She said she actually had come in third place, even though it was a video show that Logan Paul, Larry, right, Zach King, being the top three. Pansino Pasino first brought up the situation on Trisha Paytas' podcast the day before. On October 26, she said that she had refrained from saying anything to Jimmy Donaldson's fierce fan base. Quote, he is number one in YouTuber in the world. 206 million subscribers, probably more than that. Probably 400 million now. I could be guessing, though. Let's move on. Afterwards, she went ahead with a statement saying that Jimmy Donaldson, quote, edited the video to make me look like I performed worse than I did, unquote. This was extra upsetting. This is what she says. Passino, Miss Rosanna Passino. Uh, excuse me. This was an extra upsetting because I generally believed him when he said that the videos are authentic and real. She wrote, he edited the video to make it look like the final three people were Larry, Logan, Paul, and Zachary King. The final three people were actually Zach Quackity and myself. And CEO, Hansio, then appeared in the Asia Asia podcast to speak right out and really care about that dude. That's another annoying ass disgusting piece of crap on this channel in my personal opinion i don't really care about ethan h i didn't grow up on any of this stuff so it doesn't matter to me maybe a lot of gen zers you guys out there still like ethan klein aka h stuff me i just saw it as annoying in the news so it's less than now he just talks about politics it's sad she said whether when bad things were happening in her life she tended to hold it all in this time she decided to stand up for herself a day later on october 28th see rosano passino Rosano Pasillo 
Also, several screenshots of a private conversation between her and Donaldson. What? I didn't know anything about that. The messages show that Donaldson reached out first and asked her for her phone number to see if we could figure out what had happened. That's a shame they can't figure out what happened. Super sad shit. They have so much money and clout and freaking fame and fortune. They want more than they... You give them an inch, they'll, give it, you, they'll take a mile. Bless them up. Antinos had replied that saying that she was, quote, really hurt by the limited editing decisions. Donaldson, but in her intention, said it was not malicious or to create drama. And there's three more I'm going to read, and then that's it. I've said, stayed silent for so long. It's caused me mental stress and anguish, she wrote. It's not mentally healthy for me to have someone to make me look worse than I told millions of other people. I would never do that for a fellow creator, unquote. Donaldson, oh, Jimmy, Mr. BC talked about it. He says, quote, as his own words, had Hancho himself saying, wasn't trying to make anyone look bad and acts, <clears throat> acts for a time to look into the situation. The final message that is visible, Pacino, Pancino, also offered that to look through a raw footage to help show the timeline and the events. It isn't clear whether or not they spoke further. Pancino was initially met with the support for speaking up. People were saying that they understood that she had been upset by Jimmy Nelson's decision and called him out to make things right. No, so they wanted to privately talk behind closer, but that, all that dirty... Oh, man. It's like throwing the bathwater with the baby in it. You don't do that. <laughs> you already dirt out, or dirty out your aired out your dirty laundry in front of the whole world. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. That's it. You can't put that genie back in the bottle. It's done. Let's move on. But yada, yada, yada. Listen, da, da, da. People said they understood what was happening. Jim had been upset by Jimmy Donaldson's editing decisions and called him out, making things right. But opinions shifted over the next few days as Pensina continued to post. Uh, more Twitter X, Instagram, Discord posts, whatever she's posting on any social media platform. I don't know. As Pancio continued to make poor statements, and once she said, Ooh, this is real bad, it's going to bite her in the ass here later. And once she said she was a post it response that she said that the response has been, quote, overwhelming. I don't know, overall thoughts, views, and opinions on it. There's a lot more short, sweet, to the point video, but I got a little extra news I want to talk about too because of PlayStation 5, PS6 related. I'm not sure which side to take. I don't take either of these people's sides. I'm not subscribed to them. Um, I don't really give a rat's ass about either one. They're millionaires. At the end of the day, my voice really doesn't matter anyways, because I'm just a small-time YouTuber slash tiny, small Twitter slash DeviantArt freaking person. I like watching that stuff once in a while, by the way. Like, shout out to this other dude named Dylan Tonight. I think he's going to do a whole documentary iceberg about Newgrounds, though. He did, uh, like, six, seven other long-ass documentary videos about um, DeviantArt's. Real messed up evil crap on that thing sometimes. But one other thing I will say is this. I mean, they're set for the rest of their life. I don't know why this petty drama is going to get in their way of them being friends. And they both got ginormously huge fan bases. I know she only has 15 million subscribers, but that's a lot. There's a bunch of eyeballs on her. And I can't imagine on a mental, maybe mental stress and depression. She was probably suffering from some of that. I'm not a psychologist or clinical therapist or a family counselor or any of that, but maybe she was going through it. She's just fighting her inner demons, and hopefully in the way. I know she blocked my dude Omni. I don't know why she blocked him for her. She didn't even say nothing bad about her, so she's a little fucked up for that part. I will say that. She kind of looks like that chick Demi Lovato before she went all crazy and became non-binary and all that shit in general fluid. I don't know. Anyways, um, that's all the news I got to say about that. There's some real crazy-ass rumors about PlayStation 6 coming out in 2026 or 2028. Same with the next far future Xbox, Microsoft video game console and PlayStation 6 console. There's already crazy rumors and speculations and crazy ass buzz news out in the air. I heard about it from my dude, Review Tech USA. I'll leave the link to his video in the description box below. He gets way deep into detail in that shit. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just a bunch of fake hoopla and uh, hooey, wackadoo news. I don't believe in it. It's way too soon for that shit to be happening. Though. Maybe in 2028, but 2026 is way too soon. That's only like two and a half years from now. And that's it. Links to the description box below. Cards on time. I'm done. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangers, as always. I'm talking to Nikki Kumutters. I'll see you next week as a day of the night where we're in the world. You don't stop there. Stay tuned with your content. Change with the game industry news. I'm on the drama news, Twitch, YouTube drama, Twitter, um, Instagram. Once in a while, kicking Twitch drama news as well. And the Turtle, Sports, Keto, all that good stuff. 
And of course, we're active segments as well. V2 renews as well. Peace out, dudes. Goodbye. See you on the flip side. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay extra cautious. Happy early Thanksgiving. Happy early Christmas. And um, now, I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay extra safe. Stay extra careful. I'm gone. Goodbye. And uh, yeah, happy early holidays. And <laughs> it's more my future. Rare once in a while, like um, social commentary rants too. And commentaries. Later.